hands up anyone who can make a connection between SpongeBob SquarePants and the bombing of the Pacific Islands. Yes? No? Any fear buckles want to have a go? Okay, so back in the day, ages and ages ago, like 70 years, the Pacific Oceans were an idyllic place for fish and oysters to live and hang in. That was until the Big Bang of June 30, 1946. The place is Bikini Atoll, part of the Marshall Islands, halfway between PNG and Hawaii. The Big Bang is the first atomic weapon to be tested in Pacific waters. And while it would be awesome to say a Pacific Island developed atomic weapons other than jandals and rugby thighs, this horrific part of our history was set off by America. How is that possible, you ask? Well, America was basically given the territories of the Marshall Islands after the Second World War. And like most of the Pacific, these islands were won and lost by European nations with little to no input from indigenous peoples. The name Pikini was westernized to become Bikini, presumably because Americans couldn't pronounce Bikini with a P. Because it's a tough name to pronounce. Not. Now back to the Big Bang. The world saw how one atomic bomb changed the course of the war, so the race was on to build bigger and more destructive bombs. But where to test a bomb that could zap millions of organic beings in a flash without zapping millions of organic beings in a flash? You guessed it, Bikini Atoll. Far away from the US mainland and only a few island natives to deal with. Bikini Atoll was bombarded with more than 60 nuclear bombs, including one explosive that was a thousand times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima. We all know that one. While other islands around the Pacific were getting titles of best island and best beach, Poor Marshall Islands, with its radioactive palm trees and nuclear roasted coconuts, had the dubious title of the most contaminated place on Earth. The people from this area were dumped on a nearby island which didn't have enough food on it to sustain them. So doubly stink one. To their credit, the Americans did build a massive dome on a neighboring island to contain all the nuclear waste. That dome is now leaking due to rising sea levels and poor workmanship. So let's take that credit right back. Fun fact, SpongeBob SquarePants lives in a pineapple under the sea at Bikini Bottom, a reference to Bikini Atoll where it's suggested that the characters are mutations from the atomic testing. So next time you see SpongeBob, spare a thought for the Bikini natives who suffered their own mutations through this extremely stink part of Pacific history. On this day, back in a day, once upon a day.